H1H, who do you think will be our breakout player against Bama? Well, hopefully you've got a few. Uh, okay, <laughs> can I can I give you a couple? Uh, Absolutely. I'll give you two on O and two on D. Now, I've been very uh, critical when it comes to my assessment of the game versus Alabama. I've done a lot of reevaluation, and I still think that the University of Miami would be in a very, very, very tough out to win this game. But with all the question marks and the returning players, there's a couple guys that we could actually attack. All right. Now, there's a former Miami Hurricanes commit by the name of Josh Joe. Do you remember that guy, Mark? Absolutely, I do. Okay. Now, Josh Joe was very disrespectful uh and his decommitment and disrespect of the university of miami transitioning from miami to alabama you talk about a young man that had some issues off the field which i won't get into because i don't want to attack him as a person but um he had some issues in their spring game i don't know if y'all were watching the spring game but i did you had redshirt freshmen, freshmen and walk-ons like killing this dude in man coverage. Miami would have to go out there and prove the situation. We would have to have somebody get out there, maybe a Charleston Rambo, because he is their number one corner. So we would have to have a Charleston Rambo go out there and really take advantage of their one-on-one opportunities uh, to, to make the place. Okay. That's that's one of the matchups. So for me, I'm going to say Charleston Rambo is is one player I have as a breakout versus Alabama, just due to uh, who he's going to be going up against. The second person I'm going to pick on offense is De'Ari King. Now, that's taking the easy route. But here's what I mean by that. De'Ari King is very, very protective of our football. He does not put it in bad situations. If he doesn't like it, he'll eat a sack or throw it away. To much of the dismay of a lot of our Miami Hurricanes fans, because, of course, we want to go out there and win by 40 every dang week. But what he does is he makes sure not to put the ball in harm's way too often. All right. And I think going up a team, going up against a team like Alabama, who is going to lean on their run game and lean on their defense, especially in the first half and in this first game until we make it known you're gonna have to pass okay if our defensive line shows up our linebackers fill gaps then they're gonna eventually have to pass and once they do we have to make a play on it if they do catch it we gotta ride it to the ball ride it to the ball and get them down on the ground okay before they hit the first down mark or before they hit us over the top for a big touchdown so when it comes to De'Aaron King being one of my guys, I think he's going to keep us in this game. He's not going to give him the pick six that are like uh, Malik Rozier. Remember, it was rough for a little bit, and then Malik Rozier threw that pick six, and the LSU game just got blown out of war. Just the, the, the dam broke, and it just fell on us. There was nothing that we could do. Okay. We're going to need somebody, not necessarily a game manager. You're going to want a game manager. You're going to want somebody that's going to take a chance or two, but not the chance that just ruins you. You know you what I'm saying, Mark? Not where they've taken away your first read and your second read, and they know that you are going to go to this check down. They know that you're going to go to the, the tight end in the flat, and now that linebacker breaks on and catches it in stride and takes it to the, to the end zone. Now you just made 7-3, to 14-3. Now you got to get the ball and try to do it again. Oh, strip sack. And then boom. Now it's 21-3 and there's nothing we can do to stop the bleeding. Now you're talking about North Carolina ass where it just gets bad. I think that De'Ari King will avoid anything like that happening. On the defensive side of the ball, I'm going to go with Light Skin Warrior Bubba Bowden. That dude, I wouldn't be surprised if he had an interception in this game. The way he baits quarterbacks, I think he's going to be able to catch him an interception. I don't know about two, but I think he's going to get him one. Um, and who else? I'm going to take a wild card in this because I don't think people see him coming. I'm going to say Jafari Hardy. 
Jafari Harvey and Bubba Bolden on the defensive side of the ball. Those are going to be my two breakouts, man. Because it's not a lot of film on this guy. He's not the six foot six, six foot five guys that we've had recently. He's more of a quicker toolbox kind of player, more like a Trent Harris than he is a Greg Rousseau. But the man can, he, he has a knack for making plays. So that's where, uh, that's where I'm going to go.